Hello guys, it's MegZombie101 here, and uh, I am here with another Warframe tutorial. Now this one is for noobs. This one is how to mod stuff, what are mods, how do I do stuff. Because recently I've been telling them, you know, I've been informing a bunch of noobs, you know, my friends that are just getting into the game, how to mod, and it's very kind of difficult to, to, to write down. So basically, what you want to do is... Okay, so let's start from the basics. You have levels of every single weapon. They go from 1 to 30. That's for your Warframe, your weapons, and your Sentinel. And basically, 30 is the max, of course. And you have every level gives you energy. Now, if you go to upgrade for your Warframe, for example, I have 60 energy. I actually have more than that. I have 78 because I have this stance on. Or, sorry, not stance, this aura mod, but I'll explain this all. So, you have basically 30 mod capacity, which I, I like to call energy. So, at, if you have if you level it all the way up, you have level 30. So, you have 30 levels. Now, if you get something called uh, an Orican Reactor, which is basically this thing, it's, it's a gold, we like to call it in the Warframe community, Tater, or Potato. Uh, so, a gold potato or tater will double your mod capacity and blue taters called uh orican catalysts will double the mod capacity on a weapon any weapon so i of course i, I have tatered almost all my weapons in warframes of course because it's it's very hard to to get all the the good mods on it with uh you know with it being low level so let me explain to you Okay, perfect. So I have no mods on. I have just 60 energy. Now, basically, as you see here, the numbers on the top right are the drain or how much it will take to put that mod on. Now, what these are is these are called polarities. Now, you see that some mod, all the mods have their different polarities. Well, this iron, this Reno stomp, for example, 13 energy. If I put it on here, it goes down to 7. So basically what happens is if you put the same mod on one of these polarities, it will half. Of course, it will round up if, like in this, in this case, 13, it will round up to 7 instead of 6. So, and if you put, like, Constitution, if you put it on a non, if you put it on the wrong aura, it costs 3 energy more. So that's something to, you know, know about. Every single, every single, uh, Every single Warframe has four of these type of, uh, of these slots, of these polarities. Of course, I don't really use four powers of the same Warframe at once. I usually use two. So I like to polarize, which polarizing is you have to build a forma, and you basically can change or add any polarity to any slot. So I like to change these into something more useful. So an aura mod, what is an aura mod? An aura mod is a very rare mod that def that have lots of different abilities and they all have their different auras, or sorry, polarities. Now this is a little V uh, of sort of slash polarity and uh, this is Steel Charge. It's one of my favorite polar or aura mods, excuse me. It's one of my favorites. It does 60% more melee damage. Every single every single aura mod does different uh, different stuff. Like this one reduces the shield capacity on a certain amount on a certain war for or the, on on enemies. Sorry about that. So a lot of these stack with other players. So for example, for example, physique maximum health increased by 18% if on your health. So, if everyone had that, that would be four times as much. Though, in this update, you can now have five people in one match. So, anyways, you get st you get uh, you know aura mods from alerts and whatnot. They're pretty rare, and you put that on it, and it gives you extra energy. Now it gives me 18 extra energy because you know the same polarity, it doubles that amount. If I were to put physique, it would give me five energy more. But since I have Steel Charge, it, has, it gives me 18 because it's the polarity. So that's pretty much all you need to know about placing mods. So another thing, another thing. Let us let us go into the mod section. Now this new UI is very confusing to me personally. I don't like it as much. But, you know, I'm going to have to get over it. 
So let us uh, let me find a mod that I wouldn't mind upgrading. Let's see. Uh, you know it doesn't even matter. Equilibrium for yeah, but fine. Blind Rage. Uh, this you know is a rare mod, but it doesn't matter. So basically, what you can do with those mods is you can fuse them. So basically, like let's say, so it has nine percent of power strength, but minus five percent of efficiency. But you see all these little tickers on the side? Those are how many levels it can get. And Blind Rage has 10 levels. Now it's very, very hard to get it to all 10 levels because the 10 level mods are very hard to get to. And so what you have, you have a choice of duplicates and fusion cores. Duplicates means you can use all of the, the remaining duplicates of this mod to help level it up. Now you always want to do this first because that's just a great idea. And see apply fusion for 1800 credits which i have over i almost have 400,000 or i could cancel so that's a good idea and then fusion cores now i don't like this option i don't like using i don't like to use the the fusion cores option because what it will do is it will it will uh, it will use all your fusion cores it will use all of them unless you stop it so just to get it to level 6 it, it's using what what is that uh, um, almost 130 fusion cores including my four rare five fusion cores well I instead of doing that I like to uh, I like to go and I like to fuse it myself so what you can do is there you go now I just use two fusion cores or now I just use 85 see I like to do it myself so I know exactly how many I'm putting on because I have made the mistake of doing that and oh I accidentally leveled up a mod all the way which I didn't mean to so fusion cores they are basically just random things you get off of the ground off of enemies off of anything and you use them just to upgrade mods that is their entire purpose that is all you do with them and uh, that's about it for mods. You basically just, you know, equip them with the polarities. Uh, you might, uh, you know, and if it doesn't have a polarity, it's fine. You can also transmute uh, your your mods, like, like for example, getting, putting. F okay, you have four mods. You can either put four on common, or you could put or any any. Uh, or you could put four rare mods, or any any number of the sort. Usually, four rare mods will get you uh, sometimes a rare mod that's not even really worth it or sometimes it will give you an uncommon mod that definitely wasn't worth it and either way it will cost you 36,000 credits to do every time so that is pretty much it with mods you basically want to get an orican catalyst or an orican reactor on your stuff as, as, as much as possible and you want to start equipping those mods in those spaces uh, now I can I can do a a quick uh, run through of mods that you you really desperately need on your Warframe redirection it increases shield capacity very essential vitality completely essential 200% plus he shield I don't feel like I need more than that fast deflection it recharges your shield 90% faster you need that vigor not an essential but it's good it's a nightmare mod so it'll be hard to get. But if you have it, good idea to use it. Uh, and that is about it, the essentials of what I have right on right on now. Uh, so if you want to ask me any questions about Warframe, please do. I, I consider myself knowledgeable about the game. I've been playing a lot of it recently. Not just recently, but I have played it for a very long time. And by long time, I mean like four months. And yet, uh, yeah. So, yeah, if you want to ask me about anything, about a weapon or anything, I also definitely, I also definitely advise you looking at the Warframe Wiki, because it will give you great knowledge about any weapon or any uh, mod or anything in the game. So just look up on the Wiki, as I do. I look everything up on the Wiki that I am, uh, am even interested in. Like, per se, what will the stats be if I mod a certain mod to this, you know? And, uh, yeah. So just let me know what you think, guys. I will definitely do more tutorials if need be. So yeah, thank you for watching.